everyone, so today I'm going to talk you through my everyday makeup look and this is what I've been wearing in the past couple of weeks, so kind of during fall and autumn or whatever you want to call it and I've been going for a kind of heavier coverage foundation and a little bit more on the eyes and the lips I feel like you can get away with more makeup which is really exciting if you're a makeup lover like I am so that's what I've been doing and um, I definitely think that there's a nice mixture of kind of high-end and low-end products here as well which is always nice and it's just a very easy wearable flattering look I feel like it's a very kind of beautifying look that most people could wear so I hope you enjoy this um, and let's so my get skin's right already prepped totally moisturized clean I've got my sunscreen my eye cream on all that kind of thing and I'm gonna go ahead and use a primer still the Smashbox photo finish one because I'm trying to use it up and it just doesn't seem to be getting down but it's not my favourite ever primer but I do kind of like it and I don't think I'd repurchase it but I am enjoying um, using it for days when my skin kind of just needs a little bit of smoothing out because it is quite smoothing. So just kind of concentrating it onto the areas where I have larger pores and fine lines and that kind of thing which is always the centre of your face. So that's done, my face looks really red because it's cold. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation. The foundation that I've been using at the moment is my beloved NARS Sheer Glow, just because it's got a lot of coverage and as my skin's been quite red, I need that. And I also like the kind of flawless look that it gives as well. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this onto my finger and start applying it onto the center of my face. And I'm using this kind of angled buffing brush from Nashe or Nashe. I can't remember exactly how you pronounce it, but it's a fantastic brush for this foundation. I have been using a couple of their brushes and I will do a review of them soon. But this one I really, really like for foundation. The angle of it just makes it really easy because it's kind of flattened. So you can really get into all the corners and really get a nice finish and it just looks very natural and pretty and then I like to just apply more onto the areas that need it so it's so always my chin my nose kind of around my nose and a little bit more on my cheeks I like on an everyday basis just to kind of not wear too much foundation I don't like to kind of look like I've really caked it on and I definitely take this foundation down my neck because it's not that it's dark for me but it's very much um, a yellow based foundation so it can kind of look a little bit weird sometimes so you really need to buff it in nicely but once it's buffed in it looks great and very very natural natural but perfect if that makes sense so just really make sure you match your neck that's kind of my main issue I always have so that's it for my foundation that's completely done then for concealer I'm going to use a little bit of my Laura Mercier secret concealer first just because it's got this kind of nice peachy tone and I like using this under my eyes just on the areas where I've got really dark bits, which I have been having a lot lately. And I'm gonna use my Zoeva Concealer, what's this called, I think the Concealer Buffer brush, just to kind of buff that out. I don't take it everywhere because it can crease, just on the areas where you do get very, very dark. So like that. And then I'll just use a little bit of the 17 Stay Time Concealer. I've been using this under my eyes rather than the other 17 one that I featured in a video a while ago just because that one is too light for me and it kind of gives me like reverse panda eyes so I just like to kind of dot it in a three motion and then just really buff it out and make it look nice and flawless it does um settle into fine lines a little bit but to be honest I find that most concealers do that I think it's just the shape of my eyes I have got quite um a lot of very little fine lines but just buff that underneath so you've got no fine lines and a little bit no fine lines no dark circles and just a little bit kind of on my nose area then I'm going to go ahead and powder and for powder I've just been using the mineral loose powder by Savvy and I've been using it on a different brush which I've been really enjoying and again this is the same brand as the foundation brush and it's just a kind of flat um, sort of kabuki brush I suppose and I've been just pressing it in onto the areas that need it. So getting a little bit of powder into the lid and then just pressing it into the skin, which has been really um, nice at kind of giving that kind of soft focus finish. On my forehead, I kind of can move it around because I don't ever put foundation on my forehead because it breaks me out <laughs> um, and it just, I don't feel like I need the coverage. So I just like to kind of 
press it in everywhere and make sure you get a little bit and press it under your concealer as well to set it this brush is a great shape for that so I've got all my base completely done so I'm and gonna I'm going to go ahead on. and do my normal kind of bronzing routine and I'm using the Make Believe, um, what's this called, Sunbeam Enhanced Bronzer just on a big fluffy brush and I like to kind of get this onto my forehead so corners of my forehead and then just kind of whatever I've got left on the brush onto my cheekbones and definitely definitely under my chin it helps kind of disguise any signs of a double chin and I like to take it onto my neck as well just to kind of warm it up and make everything look um, more uniform you can even take a little bit onto your chest if your chest is a little bit lighter but I find that I've always got a lot more colour in my face because I've got quite a lot of redness and that kind of thing so it really does help to kind of match it all up and then for contour same as always really boring I probably should just skip this step but it's the MUA um, matte contouring shade that I use which is basically just a matte powder in number four sucking cheekbones and just get that right in there and I can't not do this I feel like my face isn't complete if I haven't done it and I have to pull the face when I'm doing it as well and then I like to just take some onto my jawline just to help that kind of get more contoured as well so that's all my bronzer and everything done I just like to take the same brush and just really buff it all out and make sure everything's nice and blended and then I'm going to do my brows and I've been using a product that I'm absolutely in love with lately and I'm just going to brush them up first which is what I always do they are very neat today because I um, plucked and threaded and perfected them yesterday but I'm using the Soap and Glory um, Archery in the shade Love is Blonde I love this I never thought I would but it's amazing and I've never found a brow product I like as much and I'm going to show you why. So it's a double ended one where one end you have like a little felt tip and then on the other side you have a pencil. The pencil's a kind of blonde shade so it's not too dark for me which I think is great because that's always the problem I had. Even though I've got dark brows I like to kind of have a natural shade in them. I don't like them to look like I've got um, loads of product in there. So I'm just using the pencil just to kind of fill in the shape a little like that so that's the shape all done brush through it again and then I'm going to use the felt tip end just to get it all looking perfect and this is actually my favorite part because you can draw little individual hairs and it just makes the whole brow look so nicely groomed and perfect without looking too much and you can kind of extend it where you need to extend it and add a little bit of shadow where it needs to be and it just really creates a perfect perfect brow if you can see kind of how my brow looks on that side compared to that side it just looks amazing so I'm going to go and do the other brow and then I'll come back so now that my brows are done I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes and I'm going to use a little bit of eye primer first this is the Zoeva shadow eyeshadow fix long wear and this is the matte one I'm just going to apply this all over my lid on both eyes obviously just to create a nice um, kind of base for my eyeshadow and to stop it from creasing and then in my um, recent birthday haul video I featured the Too Faced Neutral Eye Palette Natural Eye Palette actually this is what I'm going to use I've been using this non-stop since I got it and I absolutely adore it so I'm going to just get a flat brush and I've kind of been chopping and changing what colours I'm going to use but I'm going to first of all use this shade right here which is Heaven all over my lid just kind of to even out the colour and under my brow bone as well it just really helps to kind of give a nice pretty flattering shade so all over the lid and then I'm going to use a smaller brush and use the colour push up which is this colour right here it's sort of like a rustic um, pinky brown is the only way I can describe it it's a very unusual colour it's beautiful so I'm just going to get that on my brush and put this all over the lid. Very shimmery but really lovely. They don't have any fallout, these shadows, which is what I hate about the Urban Decay shimmery shadows. Beautiful colours, but the fallout from them just drives me crazy. So this is a really, really nice um, alternative for that. Then I'm going to take a just kind of fluffy brush and use this one right here, which is Velvet Revolver, which is a nice matte um, kind of taupey grey colour I suppose and just take this on the upper part of my eye kind of above my crease you can take it to your crease if your eyes are normal um, it's just I find it shows up better on me because I've got quite hooded eyes 
So like that, and then I will just blend it all in with my Zoeva, what's this called? The 227 Soft Definer. I love this brush. So just define that all in and you get a very kind of pretty, subtle, smoky eye, but it's not too much and very daytime appropriate. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye. I know that this eye looks really dark, but it's just because my eyes are a lot darker than the rest of my face. My eyelids are really dark, so I'm going to go ahead and do the so other eye. So that's eyes. both eyes done, and I went ahead and applied some mascara as well, because I'm sure nobody wants to see me applying mascara. We all know how it's done. And I used the 17 Dolled Up Mascara, just because I really like this one. And um, I've only used it on my upper lashes. I don't wear it in the bottom anymore unless I'm going out. It's just a kind of fresher look for me. So I'm going to go ahead and go with blush and I've been choosing kind of warmer softer colours and I'm going to use this one by Hard Candy which is Smooth Talker, it's just kind of like a um, multi-coloured one but I'm going to only use these two bottom ones just to kind of create a really pretty kind of pink flush. I haven't used this in a really really long time so I can't even remember what it's like but just on the apples of my cheeks and I always like to then take my magnifying mirror and look at it kind of in direct sunlight because I feel like that shows more um, what you need so I'll kind of look at it like that and then think yeah you need a bit more blusher so that's my blush done and then for lips I'm gonna just highlight my cupid's bow first because I always do this with the what is this the benefit eyebrow and then go ahead and apply some lip liner. This is the Essence lip liner. And it's in the shade number 11, I believe. Is it 11? Yeah, in the nude. So just all over, just to kind of make my lips a nicer shape. And then the lipstick is absolutely key here. And I'm using this one by 17, which is one of their Moisture Shine lipsticks in that's tragic <laughs> I was going to use that it has broken completely like literally come off so that's very very interesting no wonder it's £1.99 but I'll still use it <laughs> so I'm going to use this just all over my lip I suppose you can't really expect much for £1.99 and to be honest it um, I only bought this like <laughs> three days ago so I haven't even had it for very long for it to be ruined but that's the lip colour I really like this lip colour I think it's a really kind of bright colour but without being too much and then I'll apply just a little bit of highlighter I'm going to use this eyeshadow by Bourjois which is just number what is this 34 and I'm going to just use a big fan brush and get a little bit because it's very shimmery and it's got no pigment at all. So it's nice for a highlighter. And that is that. That's my finished look done. I'm gutted that that lipstick did that. I'm not going to buy another one because if it breaks, what's the point? But I'm not sure why it did that. That's very, very strange. Oh well. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this. This is just the look that I've been doing loads recently and um, the lip colour changes and the blush does but everything else pretty much stays the same and I'm really enjoying it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to do kind of more everyday looks. I know my makeup isn't super exciting but a lot of people seem to enjoy these types of videos so let me know and I'll see you.